You probably just wanted to watch a cute video about how labs work at FA Aachen, yet ended up seeing a very anxious me. Let me explain. In order to just get into the lab, you need to understand a 120 page document, pass an online exam, submit a protocol, and pass an oral exam with the professor. And if you don't, you can try next year. Let's be honest, I wouldn't be able to make a video out of this if I didn't pass, so I guess it wasn't that bad after all. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you had an amazing day, an amazing week, and it's good to see you again. For the ones who don't know me, I am Melissa Kaya, and I am studying at the Aachen University of Applied Sciences as an international student here in Germany, and I am studying biotech. So my school is known for its labs, and I will have a three week long lab, like two and a half weeks actually. I don't know how much I can take pictures of, to be honest, because I'm gonna work in the lab but I'll try to show you as much as possible how labs are done here so you just have an idea I got ready I have my lab coat and everything here actually so basically I have my lab coat here, my boots here and oops, here are my glasses these are the three essentials basically you need for your lab if you don't have them they don't take you because of safety reasons so yeah, something that you should not forget are these three things. I'm going to the library or cafeteria, I haven't decided yet, to repeat what we're going to do today. We'll prep for the lab a little bit. Okay, let's go. While I'm on my way, let me give you some insights on what I'm going to do. Because this is a cell culture lab, we'll use a bioreactor to keep our cells alive. We'll take samples every now and then to count our cells. By that, we can create a growth chart. And we will also take samples to figure out the total yield of our product. Okay. So we're finally in the lab putting the bioreactor together. We have to become the bioreactor sterile. Because of that, we'll wrap the whole thing in aluminum folie and then autoclave it. Of course, the process is a bit more complicated and that's why we have this beautiful list to go through. In the meantime, we counted our cells from the initial media. By that, we could calculate how many cells we actually have in the beginning of our experiment. It's day two, I'm in the locker room. We have like these little lockers for our lab stuff. Anyways, here you see someone changing their cells medium. It's like a food mix for cells. It includes sugars, vitamins, elements, and a bunch of other stuff to keep the cells alive. During this process, we actually also take samples to count our cells. This is again for the growth chart. Day 2 was actually chilled. I was done for the day. Towards the end of the week, we start to prepare our medium for the fermentation and we sterilize it to minimize contamination. And as always, we needed to count our cells. But today, while I was waiting my turn for the microscope, guess what happened? Actually, someone else got their cells contaminated. You can actually see the contamination by these tiny dots besides the big cells. See, the tiny dots are everywhere. Those are bacteria. <laughs> Anyways, we've taken the necessary samples, counted our cells, and took the necessary notes. So we were officially done with the day. To calculate the amount of antibodies and to see even if it's the right one, we have to run an ELISA test. In order to do that, we need to prep our plate, and you actually see us doing that right now. Then, like we do every day, we took our samples, calculated the amount of cells we had, and checked our glucose and lactose levels. This is actually important information because in a fermentation, glucose is turned into lactose. Today, me and my group had lab duties, so we had to clean up a little bit in between our experiments. And I really don't like it. The lab is coming to an end and I'm just tired. Today we actually had to finish our ELISA test and our cytotoxicity test. Besides that, we took our last samples from the fermenter, counted our cells, and started to work on our protocols. We also prepared a presentation with all of our results so that we can evaluate, discuss, and make improvements to the current process. I have some good news. I just came from the last presentation and we're done. We're done with the whole pro like we're done with the whole lab. Now I just have to write like two two protocols, but then I'm gonna be done. Something I was the most afraid about was literally this presentation. But yeah, this one, you're done. You're done. Yeah, we're done. But well, this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.